7.30 a.m. here at a strange factory collecting a strange box, which I hope I can fit into my very small car. This is going to be one really exciting video. So stay tuned. It's all in the paperwork first and it's... Ah! This is big. This is really big. suburbia and I have just assembled our quarter mix mixer it is absolutely fantastic the guys have really thought through all the details on this one I don't know everything we're still going to be playing around with it today We've got Emil coming back with his crew and they're going to be screening this outside deck area and a couple of uh, areas inside but basically this is the Rolls Royce when it comes to mixing high volumes of screed repetitively, getting those square meters down on those bigger jobs and just really optimizing your, your mix, which is absolutely paramount with some of these more technical screed options. Floor space, if it's a large area, the border mix is 100% more. Stay away from the stairs and small areas. Yeah, obviously. Obviously, yeah. Yeah. other than that, I think it's a fantastic machine. Oh, it's something we're not familiar with. I mean, we used to the bucket and bar mixer, but all in all, round, I think it's a fantastic machine. So, generally, with the bucket system, you mix one bag, one bag mix at a time, generally? Yeah, one kit. So, one, one bag, kit. one kit, one liquid, and four liters water. So I yeah. that to be about, say, five, five and a half squares. So today we mixed four bags. So obviously the material, it potentially cure was curing a little quicker. Quicker, yeah. That's the thing with, with the materials that I use, it does activate very quickly. So the ratios changed. The ratio changed, but yes. It, uh, it did set a bit quicker than we thought it would, but um, nothing we couldn't handle. I mean, yeah, it I looked up quite well. I think like if you had to just like understand the the, the beast a little bit uh, more, have a little bit more experience with it. I think having two guys on the trial and really just throwing material out there, yes. I think you'd be popping through that floor a lot quicker. Yeah, if you've got a, if you've got a, if you've organized the wall, then the system, the system, <laughs> yeah, you've got the system uh, out wall, then I think that then yeah, you just throw three three hundred squares, if not between that and more in a day. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. Thanks, Zach. Appreciate it. Pretty good, eh? I can 
can say that I am very impressed. The, me uh, the methodology and the YouTube videos and what I've been hearing about and people saying about the system, I can say, whew, I am so glad to have it in here in South Africa. Thank you, National Urethane Industries. Anyway, let's get into the detail about how this machine actually works. I want to walk through some of the features that I really found beautiful. It's just like it's been very well thought out. This is a tool that, you know, has gone through quite a little bit of uh, research and development and uh, it really delivers. You know, if you think of a construction site where you're really going to be going through hardcore environment, it's going to be abused, it's going to get thrown in the back of uh, contractors' vehicles, in and out. A construction site is really rough. And if you've got a tool that can actually last in those kind of environments, it's got to be well made. And this tool is well made. First thing is the mixer. The mixer has a high speed and a low speed. It's got its separate uh, isolating fuse. Really, you know, I can say this short little lead really makes sense. Think of it. You're going to plug it into an extension lead. You're going to mix up. You're going to do your thing. And then you're going to wheel this across your job site left and right. You know 20 meters 50 meters however long and you want to just quickly be able to unplug it so you don't want to have to drag the whole cable along with you so working with the short extension lead really makes sense it was just like it's small things that you'll find in this machine that have just been done really really well so let's get into the actual motor the mixer this mixer has been specifically designed to mix up to five six bags of screed or epoxy or whatever you want to mix in this thing um, it has the power it has the torque you know 800 watts it really is designed to be able to move and these helixes okay you've got inside I've got the full size this is the half size this has been specifically engineered for this machine for this volume so you've got the power to actually work through that kind of volume you can't just go and use your normal little mixers where you go and do one bucket at a time. That's never going to last. You're going to burn those engines out. This is designed specifically for this job. These helixes are designed specifically for this kind of volume and this kind of size. On the mixer, we've got something really cool. All right, I, I need to take the lid off to show you this. Let me just... Quick and easy, what can I say? And really tough. All right, so it's just a little pull trigger over here, just the locking pin. It's got another locking pin at the bottom, so this does not drop all the way down. It has a little bit of height. So it's these little details that they really, they've gone through quite a bit of experience to understand what is required for this mixer. So to remove the mixer, it slides up on this arm. I pull that out, and out we come. And also there you can see the full-size helix. On the engine, we've got this little elasticated little hook. This is to hold your lid up. When you're actually pouring now the pouring bit is like really really cool you've got this release arm over here so generally i'd say if you've got a full bucket and you're a little bit inexperienced two people are required to actually tip this so you don't lose uh, control of the actual tipping motion and uh, you don't end up with all your screen in one little zone but this can be managed by one person if you understand and you anticipate how it's going to move all right so one foot on, release. This square bar at the back is basically like one big handle. And this is what you're gonna use when you're actually in that tipping motion. So you've actually got that leverage. And now you can see this little hook coming to play because now it's keeping the lid open. So now you can actually move it around and you've actually got momentum to actually pour your screen up. Really, really easy. Imagine walking this down the passage into a room and going and uh, pouring straight out, taking it back to your mixing zone or to where your water source is. Bags are screwed in, mix up, off you go. These are really going to increase your productivity on a job site if you're throwing down volume of screed or volume of product. One of the points about this system that I really liked is this in a sleeve. So I'm going to remove the motor and the helix so that we can remove the sleeve, but the sleeve really makes uh, the unit practical and it's really going to save a lot of time on the job site. So to remove the engine, we well, know that's quite easy. So now we've got this 
in a bucket. This is now easy to walk around and go and clean it out. Also, if you're doing multiple colors, you're doing multiple different products, and you don't want to mix them up, because there might be a little bit of residue or contamination, you can actually interchange these. And these are replaceable at a nominal cost. You know, you can think of on a normal job site where you've got buckets that you're rotating, they naturally after a while get brittle. These are specifically designed for this use. They can handle the wear and tear, the abrasion, if you've got a little bit of particulate in your mix, also for, uh, with regards to the chemicals. This is gonna be highly resistant and you're really gonna get some good lifespan out of these units. Another element that they have included in this particular design is the vacuum exhaust. You can actually uh, install a vacuum that when you're throwing in your various powders and when it's going through that initial mix stage, that it's not kicking up a lot of dust into the environment. If you do have a sensitive environment, you can actually plug in your vacuum on this side and it'll actually vacuum up that dust as it's actually being generated. Now, finally, I've got something very exciting to share with you. Our partners at National Urethane Industries and Portamix Global have decided to really step up and support the Flooring Africa launch. And in doing so, they're giving one of these babies away. If you would like to own one of these and you're in South Africa, in the comments below, there is a link. You follow the link, you follow the instructions, and you will gain a chance to win one of these. A brand new one, this is our demo, not this one. One in a brand spanking new, in a box. It's the motor, it's the dolly, it's the bucket, it's the internal sleeve, it's the two different helixes. It's a full kit. It's a business in a box. And it could be yours. Link below. Let's do this. Let's build that plank squad. And I'm really grateful. Thank you, National Urethane Industries. Thank you, Portamix Global. This is an awesome system. We are super excited about having it launch here in South Africa. So if you wanna know about flooring, it's gonna be happening on our channel. You know what to do. Hit that subscribe button. Click the little bell. Yay! Yeah. So excited! Oh, 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 oh,